G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode where this week we're in our home workshop and we're going to cut out some acrylic windows. So we've got some tinted acrylic windows cut to size and we're going to put them in the machine and we're going to cut out all the little bolt holes, all the little stud holes that we're going to use to fix the acrylic windows to the side of the hull. So let's get on to that and we've got some unboxing of some equipment we bought today. So let's get to it. All right, so what we've got here is a 100 watt laser and uh, we're gonna use this to cut out the three mil acrylic. So we've got all these pre-cut acrylic sheets. Okay, from the supplier, we'll pre-cut a size. So basically, I am just gonna set the machine up to cut these out, to put all the holes in the exact same spot for every window. Um, using this machine. So what we've got is I've just got some bits of metal that I used it as an offset to get it away from the front of the machine and I've just set up some little bits of acrylic and wood just to uh, give me a stable spot to put everything in. So all I'm doing is basically get my sheet, put it in my machine, I'm going to push it hard up against this piece of acrylic and then hard up against these two spaces so this piece is going to be in the exact same spot each time I've already lined my machine up here to this uh, very top corner so it's about to get noisy now we've got our program all pre-populated we've got 100 millimeter holes everywhere especially in the corners and they're all to suit these 10 mil studs um, once they're welded on the boat, these will just slide over the top and every window will be exactly the same. So if we ever need to swap one out, we just have to have another one of these. We'll have a few spares made up. Um, so all we now have to do is press the start button on the computer. Now this is going to start cutting. We've got our a 100 watt laser here, every time you see that light turn on, that's cutting. There's two lasers there. We've got two heads, but we're only going to use one today. That's the uh, acrylic all cut. All these uh, little uh, holes have been cut out. Nice clean cuts. And uh, all our holes are made. And uh, there's our little uh, stud. It's got a little bit of clearance. It'll be a, a nice clean fit. So as long as we can weld them all in nice and neat, um, all that's going to work out well. So I'll uh, finish the other 10 off camera. So first things first, on the weekend it was Father's Day and the family got me a Father's Day present which was this DeWalt multi-tool. So uh, one of my mates, Chris, came over and gave me hand 
putting in a door at my house and uh, we put in the frame and everything and uh, we went to do a lot of trimming and he had a multi-tool and I've looked at these and I thought, ah, oh, that's gonna be a gimmick, they don't work. And he lent it to me to finish off some trimming around the skirting boards and it was amazing. And I said, I've got to have one I need. So the family got me one for Father's Day and uh, haven't used it yet. So to change the tools over, we're just gonna press that down, chuck that in. We've got different sanding pads. And different uh, tools for cutting different uh, items. So they're good for getting a lot of fine detail. So it's a pretty handy tool. So we're pretty impressed with that one. So next up, I've got this magnet. So I bought some nice right angle and 45 angle magnets. So these hold up to 65 kilos. So I mean, I weigh, what, 90 kilos or 80 kilos, somewhere in between that. And uh, it can nearly hold my weight. So it'd be interesting if I could get two of these on there and if they're gonna hold my weight. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of welding on the uh, hard dodger and little brackets here or there inside the boat. It's gonna be nice and easy just to hold them with this magnet while I weld. It's got a little on off switch as well. So these are gonna be nice and handy. Next up, while I was there, I found these working lights. So inside the boat, it's a little bit dull and um, can't have a lot of power cords running. So these are wireless, so they've got a lithium ion battery in there. They, they say they've got uh, 8,000 um, milli hours of battery life in them, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, the other thing that I loved about them was it's got a little Bluetooth speaker, so I could uh, have my tunes going um, while I am working. So that's pretty cool. I haven't opened it yet. It comes with a little USB charger. Now the only thing I was looking for, which these ones didn't have, is I would like some magnetic ones, because I've like got a steel boat, I can just hang it up on the wall right where I'm working to see exactly what I'm doing. So we'll have to get a magnetic uh, light, but these are pretty good. Don't know if it's got any charge in it. No, yes it does. So, put you out a fair bit of light. So, the other good advantage of these is that actually, you can charge your phone off of this as well. So, while you're listening to your tunes, you can uh, have your phone plugged in at the back here and uh, you'd be charging your phone at the same time as playing music. So it's a pretty handy little uh, light. So just to show the box, so you can charge your phone, get a little handle, but at the same time got Bluetooth speakers. So there's your Speakers either side on big giant LED at the back. You can be charging your phone in these ports, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I got two of them. I uh, don't know if I need two because you might not be able to connect both your. Uh, you might not be able to connect your phone to both speakers at the same time, but you never know. I, I just might need more light. So we've got two of them. And last but not least, this 
is what everyone's been waiting for. So I've got myself a Viper Plasma Cut 30. It's not the biggest one they sell, obviously. I don't have endless amount of money, but it can cut up to 14 millimeters steel, according to this. Um, so, comes with an accessory kit. So I haven't been able to use it, but it doesn't look very well packaged. It looks like the box has had a hard life, considering it's brand new. So it comes with a cutting torch, which looks like we can't get it out. your compressed air into the back there. It's got a little dryer on it. Just an on off switch at the back. And uh, got your amps. So it's pretty simple to use. And this little attachment. It's a uh, cable tied. So because I've got my toolbox here. Inside this little box, we've got, don't know what they're for. We'll find that out another time. There's little uh, cutting nozzles. This is a little attachment for keeping your space, your distance between your, your cut distance and it swivels and it rolls back and forth. So uh, that will help make some nice clean cuts. And uh, spare shrouds. Yeah, I don't know what that's for, but uh, we'll work them out as we go. So we have a plasma cutter now. So hopefully that's going to help have the job go a lot quicker. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. We should have got this a little while ago, but yeah, got one now. It's a nice black one. So that's all we got time for today. And uh, hopefully you guys all enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you think. I'll try and get a more, like, better view of the boat. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of ladders and, and, and whatnot around uh, to get up to get a better view of the boat, but uh, we'll try and get one as soon as we can. Uh, so let us know what you think and leave a like and a comment. Thanks guys.